Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. So today I'm going to be talking about possessive male leads. But before we begin with the list, I just want to say that if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's begin our list. Number 1. The Beast Tamed by the Villainess Story is about a girl named Yuna who transmigrated into the body of Ileana, a sociopath villainess who picked up a boy named Magnus, brainwashed him and raised him as her beast. Yuna remembers that in the original novel, this beast was a royal member and he escaped from Eliana's clutches. Soon after, he met the heroine, became the emperor and killed Eliana. So Yuna decides to unwind a little bit of his brainwashing and after that, she would pretend to be sorry and release him. Both the leads are hot, but I am sure this might take a deep dark twist. Probably recommended for strong-hearted and mature audience. The characters are interesting and pretty, and I think the male lead will turn out to be a young girl. It's well written and the storyboard is planned out perfectly. The art is fabulous and the characters' expressions look so alive. Coming at number 2, we have Dictatorship. After serving in the military for 8 years, Si Yoon arrives home to find that not only has her father lost their family home, but now they are penniless. A friend tells her about a security position he describes as hell, were it not for the salary. In an attempt to regain some of what their family lost, Si Yoon decides to go to the kingdom of Oman for one year to work as a member of Prince Ashel's private security team. But the so-called polar bear of the desert keeps changing the rules and Seon's not sure she will make it out anytime soon. The plot is a bit fresh for a romance Jose Manfa. Also, there are some elements that may be offensive to some people. The chemistry between both the leads is amazing. Coming at number 3, we have Stigma Effect. Story is about a maid named Uriel who is bitten on behalf of a noble boy, Raflet. Uriel has the ability to see future in her dreams. Some memories of her childhood were cruel, but Uriel held no resentment towards the boy. Rather, she liked it. The hand that carefully applied medicine to her wounds was always warm. Rufflet is being portrayed as a kind boy, but secretly he has lust or maybe he likes her. So he left behind his mansion and joined the Holy Knight. But when Uriel gets to know that he is injured, she left the mansion to visit him. But the Rufflet that appeared in her dreams showed nothing but passion and lust. Prophetic dreams, the ability that was like a stigma, drove Uriel towards an unknown future. Art is fantastic and the plot seems unique and interesting. The female lead is a pushover and naive in my opinion and the male lead is like a beast. This is a dark romance and it's not for those who like fluffy or ordinary spicy romance. Coming at number 4, we have side character deserve love too. Kim is the biggest fan of Kyle Du Viltion, a side character in the fantasy novel Kingmaker. Her never-ending search for Kyle content is forever changed when she dies while rereading the book and somehow awakens in Kyle's bedroom to a new life within the novel's pages. She is then shocked to learn that Kyle can also hear her thoughts, luckily only if she thinks of his name. Still, there is no time for this fangirl to dream because Kyle is doomed to die. She tries hard to save the apple of her eye. Female lead is extremely shameless but likeable and the male lead is so cute when he keeps on blushing on hearing female lead's perverted thoughts. The female lead is basically a top tier fangirl. The male lead is the jealous type who gets jealous whenever the female lead interacts with other men. The art is beautiful, full on saint manga with deep traumatizing secondhand embarrassment passed on to the reader. Coming at number 5, we have Glutoneria. Story is about a man with a monstrous carnivorous side, lives shrouded by horror terrorizes the wood. His meeting with a woman in the woods sparks a strange feeling deeply familiar inside him. 
A bloody side about a man, his gluttony, and how a meeting threatens to change his very nature. This story is so creepy. Every character is so deeply fleshed out. As the story goes, each mystery is uncovered slowly and gives you a better understanding of the situation. I feel like uh, literally everybody in this series is stamped for love. Early chapters gets you hooked and makes you want to finish reading it in one sitting. The female lead is naive and has no awareness but I understand that it's because of her upbringing. The story is executed really well. Careful with the tragedy tag right there. It won't disappoint you if ever you are a fan of tragic endings. I hope you'll have a good day. See ya.